Hey, what's up guys? Patrick, and this is episode 7 of Ascension Adventure, a premium series I'm doing where I try to get the Ascension crossbows. If you're looking for a different episode, all the appropriate links will be in the description. Highly recommend that you check out the previous episodes first before you watch this one. Anyways, I'm back at Frost Dragons once again because I got another 250 magic note papers off the Squirrel of Fortune. There's nothing interesting about this, but I thought you'd share that because the total amount of Frost Dragon bones I have for this series pretty much doubled after this. Now, on to the more interesting stuff. I went to Queen Black Dragon this episode. If you guys are ever looking to make some cash, QBD is definitely a good way to go because it's good cash and it's consistent. I remember when EOC first came out, everyone kept saying go kill QBD and I didn't get what was so great about it because the fight was really long pre-EOC and I just assumed it didn't change, but it did. In fact, it was about three to four times faster. So this became popular very quickly, which also caused QBD related items to drop very quickly. One of the items I got was a Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit. Believe it or not, this actually used to be something close to 20 mil. I remember that because when they released those Instaco darts a while back, someone in my old clan used them on QBD and got a Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit and sold it for about 20 mil. This guy was talking about it for like a week. But now, unfortunately, there are only 28k or something like that. I decided to show it anyways because it's still a unique drop and it's still somewhat rare, so I figured it was still cool to show. At least it was worth something at one point. Most of the items I'm going to be showing you are pieces of the Royal Crossbow. That's something I really want to talk about. Back in episode 3, I think, whichever one the Armadillo episode was, I was talking about having to go with QBD to recharge my Royal Crossbow using her uh, Extreme Fire Breath. There was an update that came out a few weeks ago where you can no longer do that. You now have to use the pieces on the crossbow and each piece you use recharges it by 25%. I, I think that's how it works and this is making them skyrocket like crazy. In a previous episode, I was also saying how before I do my price checks at the end of the episodes, I'm going to sell cheaper stuff to have it in a liquidated form and just price check the more expensive stuff. Well, one of the Royal Crossbow pieces that I got, the Stabilizer, didn't quite make the cut, so I sold in the GE. I think the GE price was 300 k I ended up getting about 550 k Funny enough, 550 k would have barely made the cut, but... Do you know how crazy that is when people are paying almost double GE price for something? If I had to make a prediction, I think it can very easily go up to about 750k per piece. Because if you think about it, 750k times 4 is 3 mil. The Royal Crossbow is a two-handed weapon. Dual Ascension Crossbows and Dual Chaotic Crossbows are at a 3 mil repair cost as it is. Actually, it might even go higher than 750k because the Royal Crossbow is much easier to get and... I mean, all you have to do is do a quest, that's why it's so popular. Meanwhile, the Ascension Crossbows are expensive, and you need 300k Dungeoneering tokens to get the Dual Chaotix. Other than the Stabilizer, I also got uh, 4 frames. I didn't sell those because those made it into the expensive enough to keep group, I guess you can call it. So, I still have a few pieces left, and hopefully they go up a bit more by the time I'm actually going to sell everything. There's also a possibility I'll go back to QBD again in this series to get more pieces. Anyways, that's enough about the crossbow. I also got uh, 50 rune bars. I don't think that's a unique drop, but it was definitely good enough to show off. It cost about 650k. And the last item I picked up was a visage. This cost a little over a mil. I actually had enough clips and drops this episode long before I got that visage. But last episode, I was talking about how... I have only gotten two or three visages ever because I don't really come to QBD that much. So I made myself a little goal that I had to get a visage before I can call it quits for this episode. And that's exactly what I did. It took me about 75 to 80 kills in total, which definitely isn't bad because according to Rune Wiki, the average drop rate is 1 in 96. Anyways, that's it for the drops. Now it's time for the price check. And the price checker is 92.5 mil of loot. And I have another 29.8 mil in my money pouch. So that totals 122.3 mil. And if you subtract the amount I had at the end of the last episode, I made about 25.5 mil this episode. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.